what do we expect out of the stars this season? Uh, we've got some fresh faces coming in. Uh, our internationals obviously got Loz, Alice Capsi and, and Jemmy Rod Rodriguez. So looking forward to see what they can offer. Uh, new coach as well. So a few new faces in the group and some young talent as well who I guess are looking to build off the season last year. Guys. Yeah, he got in last week, so um, was actually able to catch some of our WNCL games. Um, yeah, and have, has made himself quite familiar. Uh, yeah, had a few catch-ups and meetings with him, and we're in together as a group today. So um, it was quite nice. Everyone's arrived by Jemmy. A big shift to step into as stars captain. How are you feeling about that challenge? Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to be honest. Um, I think it's such an exciting role, uh, and to be able to lead this um, young group and some some really big talents. I'm yeah, I'm st I'm stoked about it. Annabelle, you're flying. You didn't make a run for fun last week or so. I mean, you coming into the season, you must be full confidence. Yeah, I think it's always nice to to start off the season and spend some time in the middle. I think that's the biggest thing as a batter. You just uh, yeah want to want to spend some time out there, and especially at the start of a season after a big preseason, you're just keen to get out there. So I guess that's the same um, kind of thing I'm looking forward to at the start of the big bash. It's it's a hard game at times, T20 cricket, so just looking to, I guess, take the game on when I can and um, play my role within the team. You spent a lot of time away with the Aussies squad over the winter. Was your batting something you didn't work on during that period? Oh, it's always been something that um, I've worked on as an all-rounder, I guess, and uh, yeah, that Aussie team is such a hard one to crack into, so I, I think I've had a little bit more of a role with the ball at times. Um, but yeah, playing in the 100 and uh, yeah, just being around that Aussie group, learning off some of the best in the world uh, has definitely done good things for my batting and um, was, was happy that I was able to capitalise on some opportunity that I had in the last week. And yourself, Nick, um, the, that first piece against Tassie was awesome. How are you feeling about your Yes, that's exactly the same as what Bell was saying. I mean, anytime you can I'm out in the middle. I had a really nice lead in with some practice games and um, yeah, I was lucky enough to be able to spend some time in the middle. Um, and obviously had that game against Tassie where I spent some time and it was even nicer to spend it with Bells. So um, yeah, really excited to get going and um, felt like my prep's been really good. So yeah, just really excited about it. Uh, we have a practice game tomorrow um, and then we're actually off to Mackay on Wednesday. We're flying a little bit early and playing a practice game up there. Um, and then our first game is obviously on uh, on Saturday, so it's all happening and it's, it's all kicking off. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, new coach in JB, we're super excited to have him on. Um, yeah, we've got some really, really exciting talent, our internationals, uh, a huge, um, also our young talent. So, um, yeah, it's been nice to get everyone to have a Yeah, I did. We didn't get to play against her, unfortunately, but um, she's, oh, just... I guess taking it in her stride, slotted into that England lineup um, like it's nothing really, and yeah, she's she's obviously young, but doesn't seem to phase her, which I think is a great thing, especially for for the Big Bash. It's it's a long tournament, and you want players who can take the game on and not be afraid to make mistakes, which uh, are going to happen. But yeah, we're yeah really looking forward to to see what she has to offer. Thanks, guys.